Well hey guys, I am here with my monthly favorites and we are just going to dive right into this video because I've got things to talk about. So first I'm going to share with you a few makeup favorites. I am so obsessed with this product. I've probably talked about it before, but I love it. Um, and it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This stuff, oh my gosh, I bought my first one um, last November, and this is my second one, and I love it. It looks so natural and beautiful. I have the light shade. Um, the darker shade would probably obviously show up a bit darker on your skin, but I use the darker, and I, um, you know, put it here and here, and just bronze up my skin, and it smells so delicious. It smells like suntan lotion and like you're at the beach so worth every penny so here in Canada this is like 21 22 dollars I can get this in the states for I think around eight dollars and again it's just totally worth it I found a really great deal on this it came with they actually came out with butter blushes which I love as well um and it was like basically you bought this and you got the blush for free so that was a good deal in my book sorry about that if like <laughs> everything switched I had to plug in my charger because my camera was gonna die not good so lastly for makeup favorites this is another new thing that I'm really loving so I am super duper picky with mascaras very picky um lashes are like a big deal to me I love thick long lashes um prior to having my kids i would always get asked if i was wearing false lashes it didn't matter where i went i always got asked it like by gas station attendants by waitresses by like people when i was checking out the grocery store it was the number one question that anyone ever asked me and i never worn them in my life fast forward i had my kids and my eyelashes like basically broke off like they are brittle they are thin they are awful lashes and even right now they're kind of broken off like not good so I've been using the trim healthy mama collagen in my coffee and um, it really helped my lashes grow I ran out of collagen and they're back to being their puny terrible brittle broken selves so anyways um, I'm very picky with um, mascaras but I had seen a lot of hype around this new L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara Apparently, it's a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I've never used that one, but I'd watched a lot of um, beauty channels here on YouTube compare the two. They would do like one eye with that mascara, one eye with the L'Oreal, and they would compare. Um, and they said that like the packaging is the same, the um, brush is the same, the formula is the same, like very identical. So I'm all about saving some money, and I love this mascara love it so the brush so it's a really nice fat brush and I love a fat brush I don't like very wet formula but I also don't want it too dry either it's kind of just right in between and perfect um, it makes your lashes look really long and thick which is what I want because my lashes are so thin they want a lot of thickness but I also want the length as well and I find that this really does it I accidentally got the waterproof kind which I'm not happy about um, little tip for you if you do get waterproof mascara or even if you're just it's regular mascara coconut oil is my mascara remover of choice it takes off your eye makeup so well and it's good for your skin and it's good for your lashes so coconut oil anyways I'm just loving this um, L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise okay so let's talk about household stuff so I want to talk to you about a cleaner that I am over the moon about and I have loved this cleaner I don't know two years now I guess and that is the Sensi counter clean this stuff does more than just clean your counters. It is such a phenomenal cleaner. First of all, it shines up your sink like it's nobody's business. Like It looks like you did the whole Fly Lady shiny sink routine when you used this product. It is so amazing on stainless steel. So if you have a stainless steel um, a fridge or um, dishwasher, stove, 
it makes it look so brand new without having to buy like a separate like stainless steel cleaner or something like that um and i use this on my cabinet tree so we have ikea cabinets they're white and see behind me <laughs> um and they show dirt they show spills they show like grease so easily and this just makes them gleam and i don't have that with other just like traditional soap and water or um other cleaners that i have tried it just it doesn't get them as clean and guys this stuff smells so good like this is the coconut lemongrass scent and if you are a scentsy fan the cleaners smell exactly like the scentsy wax so this smells like coconut lemongrass um honeymoon hideaway is another one of my favorites and clean breeze which smells like clean laundry i mean oh they just smell so good and they clean so amazing so i have almost switched most of all of my cleaners to natural products i've been using a lot of castile soap really really happy with those results however nothing seems to clean for me like my counters and my stainless steel and things like that as well as the scentsy counter clean and this stuff actually like um i've used it to like whiten shoes like you spray your like your white sneakers and then scrub them and it takes those um that mess off um also like my upholstery on my couch um and what else have i used it for um kids toys and things like that like outside toys that get like really dirty and i've even seen people use this to clean like their boat cushions like cushions on their boat that get kind of dirty and gross they spray it and clean it and it's like they're brand new this stuff is amazing and i love that when you buy scentsy you are actually supporting usually another woman um who is like supporting her family or pursuing her dreams i love doing business in that way as opposed to just running to Walmart or Target and picking up you know just a cleaner off the shelf I prefer to help people who are you know running their own business in that way and I know the owners of Scentsy they are like amazing and I know them know them <laughs> um and their hearts are gold so I love I love Scentsy but this stuff amazing so next I want to talk about um an app and I mention it every once in a while on my vlogs um, some of you have mentioned how um, how interesting it is or how cool it is that I can film when I have my son around and the only way that I can really film uh, to keep him occupied is by letting him watch the YouTube kids app so I don't like to just let my kids like hang out on like technology so I don't necessarily like to let my kids just hang out on technology. That's just not, I, I don't want to check out in my motherhood like that. However, sometimes it just, yeah, I need a break. I'm a stay-at-home mom and they need a break and I need a break. And I'm okay with letting them um, be on some technology every once in a while and to watch TV. I just, I'm okay with that. Um, and so, however... Y'all know, because y'all watch YouTube, you know that the ads can get kind of sketchy or questionable, or there are things that you just don't want your child to see. And I love the YouTube Kids app because it filters out all of that, and they don't even watch ads. Um, I'm pretty certain there's never ads, and if there are, they're very kid-appropriate. I mean, honestly, I just don't ever remember seeing an ad, but the whole intro infrastructure is designed for kids and when you set it up you can actually tailor what they watch for instance um, you set up if like it's a preschool child that's mostly watching it or a school age or um, I don't know they had three of them I, I can't remember the ages but I always put preschool because I know that they're gonna get more um, team <laughs> entertainment um, and that's the other thing about the YouTube Kids app is that a lot of it is filtered out. So they're not getting a lot of junk that they would find on YouTube. We do a lot of like Berenstein Bears, um, Peppa Pig, and Daniel Tiger. I love this little person. He's such a good friend, right? love this guy so I grew up in the 80s and Mr. Rogers love you Mr. Rogers um 
he's from Pittsburgh and his presence is still highly known there. He's amazing. Um, and I loved Mr. Rogers and I still want to like try and get my kids into Mr. Rogers because his show was just so wonderful. Um, but I love that they've updated and it's all about, um, Daniel Tiger now. And, um, Daniel is one of the characters on Mr. Rogers and they've revamped the show so that all of the original characters, except Mr. Rogers, um, are on, uh, Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. And it's been really, really good for Colt. Um, as a lot of you know, he struggled with some speech for a while and he is still behind, I think, where he should be. Um, he's speaks good and well and um but his understanding just isn't where some kids I know his age are um and so it's sometimes difficult to, to have reasonable conversations with him like if he's had a tantrum and then we need to talk about it the talking kind of just goes over his head but Daniel Tiger that show has given me some speech to use with him um some ideas on to use your words instead of just getting mad and grrr, which is what my son does. And we we talk about how to use your words um, rather than just throwing a fit and screaming and things like that. Um, and it's given us like, as we cross the street, we sing a lot of the rhymes that they do on the show. And so it's just in constantly um, putting some of those phraseology that they use that are geared towards little children and being able to use those in my speech and to reiterate the things that they're learning on that show into our everyday life. And I think it's been really, really, really beneficial to Colt especially, and Aubrey even loves to watch the show. So um, if you're looking for a really wholesome show for your children that's going to teach them um, good things, definitely, definitely, definitely watch Daniel Tucker. So I want to talk to you about a book that I just finished up and that is called Grace Not Perfection from Emily Lay. I am an Emily Lay fan. Um, I have been following her for like, well, like four years now? Three for sure, maybe four. Um, I bought one of, not the very first Simplified Planners, but I think it was the second run of them. Um, and I just latched onto her brand. I am all about the idea of grace, not perfection, um, simple living, and I just, I love her to bits and pieces. And I followed her journey um, when her son Brady was really young. Uh, he's just a few months younger than Aubrey. And so I connected with her on that level, and then I watched as they walked through like infertility, and then um, she was. They walked through infertility before they had their son and then they struggled again and then they had twins and so it's just been like really neat to watch her journey and to watch her brand grow. Um, but she wrote a book called Grace Not Perfection and it's all about really practical things about uh, implying grace into your life and really practical things with routines and systems and simple living. And that sort of stuff just hits me hard because I want my life simple, I want it routines, and I want it to be full of good things. And that's exactly what this book is. I actually bought it for my sister for Christmas, the hard copy of it. Um, and I wanted to get myself one and I never did. Uh, and then Kindle was doing a sale and it was like $1.99. So I bought it on Kindle and I just finished up reading it. Um, and it's a really, really good book. I think it's worth every penny. I will say that it's not the most profound book. Um, I didn't read it getting a whole bunch of new ideas. Um, there were a few for sure, but it, um, I didn't walk into it going, oh, I've never thought of that before, too often in the book. However, it was so good to be reminded of these things and to read through them in someone else's voice and someone else's perspective and through their lens um, and to be reminded that simple systems work, that um, we need to strive for grace with ourselves and not perfection. I can struggle with perfectionism. So last thing I wanna to talk to you about um, a channel that I'm loving, um, and that is Road to the Farm with Melanie. And um, some of you recommended her channel to me, and I actually had been subscribed to her, but I hadn't been watching her um, 
a lot. I probably only watched a couple of her videos, but just recently I started watching a ton of them. She is so peaceful and sweet and soft-spoken, and if you ever just want to listen to someone who is going to soothe your soul with her words, it's Melanie. She um, has a special diet, so they um, eat gluten-free. She has fibromyalgia, um, and um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's beautiful, and she's a homesteader. I've been watching a ton of her canning videos and just, I'm just, I don't know, I've just been so encouraged by watching her. So she's a real, a real peach and the real deal. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, definitely check her channel out. And then I'm going to tell you about two more videos actually that really spoke a lot to me. Um, the first is um, from A Joyful Home. She did a video about routines and getting back on a routine. And I identified so much with it, I felt like she was speaking directly to me, like directly, like as if she went in my head, took all the words, and then went over and filmed it because it was like, there I was. I had fallen off my routines and my life was feeling chaotic and messy and ugh, all the bad things. And she just was in that place and she was talking about how she's um, getting back on her routines and the very next day I started back with my routines because I was so encouraged and so inspired um, by her video and she put out some subsequent videos about how she's getting back on her routines and things and she is just a sweetheart and I think you'll be really blessed if you check out that video. I'll leave it in the description box down below but also her channel. It's just it's so nice sometimes just to come along with people for their day and um, to feel like you are um, just kind of having a conversation with someone. Sometimes this life, like especially this stay-at-home mom life, can feel very isolating and it can feel very quiet at times. And so as you're going about doing your very mundane kind of chores and your very mundane life, um, to have a friend come along with you and just chat to you about all that they're walking through and going through and how they're, you know, getting back on routines, um, I think is wonderful. So definitely check out that video. And then the last video that has just been kind of really rocking my world um, is one my sister did. Uh, and it was about um, what she keeps in her car for the summer and how she has it all organized. And whoa, she just blew my mind with her organization and how prepared she is. And oh, I'm nowhere near that. And I want to be. So I just... I constantly think about that video and about putting that sort of practice into play, just having all the things that we need. Now we're not an on the go family. We, we just, we just aren't, we, we don't, our kids aren't that age where they're like in sports and we don't, we're not involved in anything. Um, so we're not on the go. However, I am a prepared woman. I like to be prepared and I realize I'm just not as prepared as I want to be. Um, and so I took so much inspiration away from that video. So I'll definitely link that down below as well. And lastly, I'm just going to share with you a podcast that was just hitting my heart big time. And I really felt um, in putting together these favorite things that this would be something that I wanted to share with you. And that is um, a podcast from the God Centered Mom podcast. And she interviewed um, Ellie Holcomb. And Ellie Holcomb is a singer and she has beautiful, beautiful music. In particular, a song called Red Sea Road. And in this podcast... Um, I forget the woman who runs the podcast, but her dad um, recently passed away and um, he had cancer and they found out he had cancer three weeks before he passed away. And her mom, they found out her mom had cancer at the same time. So she talks about how she was literally um, shaving her mom's head and picking out casket flowers in the same day. And just about... Um, Oh man, so much brokenness, but so much of a gift that God gives us in hope through the brokenness, and that hope is in an empty tomb. And we base our entire faith on the fact that that tomb was empty, and what joy and what peace that can give, especially in the midst of the most darkest times of life. 
and Ellie and um, the gal who runs the podcast just talked about those very dark times in their lives and there was crying so much crying but so much laughter at the same time and that's actually something they talk about laughing while crying um, and I can't do the podcast any sort of justice as far as like telling you anything that's involved in it but I want to encourage you if you are going through a time of brokenness or hurt um, a time where you don't understand what's going on a time where you don't trust God, um, a time where you are just broken. I'm telling you this, the words spoken in this podcast hit me so hard and I'm not really in one of those spaces right now. Um, I could identify though with being in a dark spot like that, um, maybe not quite to that extent, but in those dark times and questioning and um, I don't know. It's just really, really encouraging and really good and full of the good stuff. And I found myself crying right along with them. Um, it's totally beautiful. And um, Ellie Holcomb's album, I'm not sure if it's called Red Sea Road, but the song Red Sea Road is just, it's incredible. So if you're going through hard stuff, definitely check that out. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And I will see you in my next video. Leave me what you're loving down below because I love to find out new things. And again, I always love to find out things that like are trusted, that people have tried and they're like, yes, this is amazing. Let me know. I will see you guys later. Bye.